Fasting refers to the state we are in four to five hours after our last meal. It also refers to the state we are in during sleep for seven or eight hours. In both of these two states, plasma glucose is maintained between 80 to 100 milligrams per deciliter in order to supply key tissues with the glucose they absolutely need for their energy uh, needs. Key tissues and cells that almost entirely depend on glucose in the plasma are the brain, red blood cells, kidney, medulla, and testes. Maintenance of blood glucose is entirely dependent on the output of glucose from the liver. The liver is able to produce glucose and restore plasma glucose through two distinct pathways. The first one involves the bre breakdown of stored glycogen to release glucose into the bloodstream and the second one is to synthesize glucose from smaller molecules derived from uh, specific carbon skeletons of amino acids. In both of these processes the liver is able to resupply the plasma with glucose and maintain glucose levels during fasting between 80 to 100 milligrams per deciliter. In addition to increasing its glucose output, the liver will be increasing ketone body synthesis, ketogenesis, because it's using fatty acids uh, uh, as a source of energy, producing a lot of acetyl-CoA, and some of that acetyl-CoA is used in ketogenesis. So note how important the liver is. It's providing glucose providing ketone bodies two different forms of energy to other tissues to use during fasting